Governor Huntsman, do you agree uh, with Governor Romney that the U.S. has to stay in Afghanistan at these levels? No, I, I totally disagree. I think we need to square with the American people about what we've achieved. We need an honest conversation in this country about the sacrifices that have been made over nearly 10 years. We have, we have uh, dismantled the Taliban. We've run them out of Kabul. We've had free elections in 2004. We've killed Osama bin Laden. We've upended, dismantled uh, al-Qaeda. We have achieved some very important goals for the United States of America. Now, the fact that we have 100,000 troops nation building in Afghanistan, when this nation so desperately needs to be built, when on the ground, we do need intelligence gathering, no doubt about that. We need a strong special forces presence. We need a drone presence, and we need some ongoing training of the Afghan National Army. But we haven't done a very good job defining and articulating what the end point is in Afghanistan. And I think the American people are getting very tired about where we find ourselves today. Let me let Governor Romney respond. Well, let me respond. Uh, are, are you suggesting, Governor, that we just take all our troops out next week? Or what, what's your Did proposal? You hear what I just said? Yeah, I said we should draw down from 100,000. We don't need 100,000 troops. We don't need 100,000 troops. In well, Many the, of them the can't even cross the wire. We need a presence on the ground that is more akin to 10 or 15,000. That will serve our interests in terms of intelligence gathering and special forces response capability. And we need to prepare for a world, not just in South Asia, but indeed in every corner of the world, in which counterterrorism counter is going to be in front of us for as far as the eye can see into the 21st and, and, century. And the, uh, and the commanders on the ground feel that we should bring down our surge troops by December of 2012 and bring down all of our troops, other than perhaps 10,000 or so, uh, by the end of, of 2014. The decision to pull our troops out before that, they believe, would put at risk the extraordinary investment of treasure and blood, which has been sacrificed by the American military. I, I stand with the commanders in this regard and have no information that suggests that pulling our troops out faster than that would do anything but put at, at, at great peril the extraordinary sacrifice has been made. Th this is not time for America to cut and run. We have been in for 10 years. We are winding down. The Afghan troops are picking up the capacity to secure their country. And the mission is pretty straightforward. And that is to allow the Afghan people to have a sovereign nation not taken over by the Taliban. Let me bring the speaker in. Uh, what do you say? Uh, pull what? out? Just, just one you point. Want, oh, go ahead. Yeah, go. Just about the generals on the ground. And listen, I think it's important for the American people to know we have achieved some very important objectives in raising standards in Afghanistan and helping to build civil society. But at the end of the day, the President of the United States is Commander-in-Chief. Commander-in-Chief. Of course you're going to listen to the generals. But... I also remember when people listened to the generals in 1967, and we heard a certain course of action in Southeast Asia didn't serve our interests very well. The president is the commander in chief, and ought to be informed by a lot of different voices, including those of the commander. Speaker Gingrich. I, 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 look, I've got a good. He, he gets a response. I get a response. Of course, the commander in chief makes makes the final decision. How about the rest? Of, of course, the final. <laughs> How about us who haven't had a response? Of course, the commander in chief makes the, makes the final decision. But the commander in chief makes that decision based upon the input of people closest to the ground. And, and we've, we've both been to Afghanistan. I've been to Afghanistan. The people I speak with there say we have a very good prospect of the people of, in Afghanistan being able to secure the peace and their sovereignty from the Taliban. But that if we pull out on a precipitous basis, as Governor Huntsman suggests, that we could well see that nation and Pakistan get pulled into terror and become another launching point to go after America. That's a mistake. That's why you listen and then make your decision.